Before we even start the video, I just want to state upfront as a disclaimer that the majority of the content that you're about to watch is going to be explaining a new business that I'm starting in partnership with these women. And so, yes, I'm going to be trying to sell you something. I just wanted to state that explicitly upfront so that you don't have that uncomfortable feeling of trying to guess whether or not I'm trying to sell you something if I'm being manipulative. I am trying to sell you something. The point of this video and of this business is to make money. It's to help people, but it's also to make money. So if that's something that you object to, I understand. I've given you fair warning. Click out of the video now. Okay, so you kept watching and you're probably curious what I'm talking about. And I'm going to reward your curiosity because this business idea I don't think has ever been done before. I think this is a really unique approach. I want to start with a story. When I went to high school, I went to an all boys school, which I didn't enjoy. I didn't like being separated from women. I had girlfriends here and there and we'd meet on the weekends and stuff. But because I was basically only surrounded by boys, I was never able to unlock that romantic abundance that I think every teenage boy dreams of. After I turned 17, I went to the United States of America. I went there for six months as part of a program called American Field Scholarship and I attended a high school. One of the things that excited me the most about this opportunity was the fact that girls went to this high school. In my mind, I thought that I was a great guy, that I'd be a really good catch, and that the only reason I hadn't unlocked a greater level of romantic abundance was the fact that I just didn't have access to women. I had this somewhat juvenile fantasy that once I actually went to a school inhabited by females, I would unlock this crazy level of abundance. I'd just be swimming in options. That did not occur. My success was very limited. And as a teenage boy, I lacked the self-awareness to really understand why. I was desperate for some kind of social feedback for one of the girls that I was interested in to just tell me outright, this is why I'm not interested in you. This is why I don't find you romantically desirable. Based on my interactions with the girls, I could sense that there was something off about me. I didn't know what it was. From where I was standing, I seemed great. I couldn't really understand why the girls didn't see myself the way that I saw myself, but it was clear that they did. There was something that they were all aware of that I wasn't. It's actually a really horrible feeling, not just the sense that there's something wrong with you, but that other people can see what's wrong with you. And it's obvious to them. It's like this big secret about you that everybody else knows, but they're not going to tell you. When girls did reject me, they were always really kind and polite. You're a great guy. I really enjoy spending time with you. I think of you as a good friend, etc., etc. Now, I appreciate that they were trying to do the right thing. I was a young teenage kid. I was probably emotionally quite vulnerable and they wanted to let me down gently. But that kindness didn't really help me because that's not what I needed at life. I didn't need women to coddle me. What I needed was some raw, honest feedback about myself. I needed some brutal honesty. I needed a woman to just state plainly, this is why I'm not attracted to you. This is what is wrong with you. If I had heard that, then I could have known what the problem was and I could have worked on fixing it. I needed somebody to illuminate my shortcomings so I could stop just blindly fumbling around in the dark, making a fool of myself. I needed some social feedback on how I was coming across to other people. But the thing is, is that women won't give you that kind of authentic social feedback. When a woman rejects you, she's not going to tell you the real reasons why she doesn't find you attractive. She'll be polite and kind, say things like, I think of you as my friend, I think of you as my little brother, we're just not compatible, I'm not over my ex, whatever it is. Women won't give you the honest truth. You're too short, you're too ugly, you come across as needy, you're too socially awkward. Now, part of the reason why women don't give you the brutal truth is because they want to spare your feelings. But the other reason is that women actually have an evolutionary instinct to lie to men. Imagine what it must have been like for women back in caveman days if she rejects the sexual advances of a man. You know, she says, no, of course not. I'm not going to lie down on the ground with you. You're too ugly. You know, she laughs at him, whatever it is she's likely to get bashed across the head with a rock. Women, biologically, are not as strong as men and historically speaking, have not had the superior social position. They had good reason to be frightened of men and so they learned to lie, to protect the man's pride and by extension, to protect themselves. This is completely understandable. I'm not judging. Even in the modern context, I have seen men completely lose their sh** when a woman rejects them. As a woman, male anger is terrifying. And so lots of women think, 
I'll just tell a half truth, I'll just tell a lie and save myself the hassle. Now, while that instinct is understandable, it comes at a really heavy cost. Because when women are not honest with men about why they're not romantically desirable, then men have no clue about what it is that they need to change. It's obvious to the women why a certain man is not a viable sexual prospect, but it's not obvious to that man. He's too close to the situation. He needs an outsider's perspective. He needs somebody to tell him. And so that's what I decided to create, a service where men can get honest feedback from women about whether or not they're desirable, as well as a long detailed list of the reasons why. Nowadays, it seems as though the internet is filled with women who will take your money and pretend to like you, make you believe that you're desirable. This is the exact opposite of that. You don't pay these women for a fantasy. You don't pay them to lie to you. You pay for the brutal, honest truth, no matter how hurtful it is. I mean, what's more valuable to you in the long term in terms of your personal growth? Paying a woman so that she can pretend to like you or paying a woman for a detailed list of all of the reasons why she wouldn't date you. Now, let me give you fair warning. This service is not for everybody. If you're feeling emotionally fragile or vulnerable, I do not recommend you using this service. This is only for people with a strong enough self-esteem to be able to handle this kind of feedback. You need to be emotionally strong enough to really be able to confront reality. I do lots of private consultations with men and a lot of them want to brainstorm together ideas on ways they can improve, how they can become a high quality man. Now I have some tips and I have some advice, but at the end of the day, I'm a straight man. Whatever feedback I'm able to give you is not going to be romantic in its context. I might think that you're a cool guy. I might enjoy speaking to you. I might want to be friends with you, but I'm never going to be attracted to you in that way. And in this sense, there really is no substitute for a woman. Imagine how valuable it would be to meet a woman in your social circle, or even to just see a beautiful woman on the street and walk up to her, tell her about yourself, and then get detailed feedback on how you're coming across, on whether or not you're desirable to her. But you can't really do that because it's not socially appropriate. You can't just walk up to people and say, I want you to tell me exactly what you think of me. I want you to tell me what my most desirable qualities are, what my least desirable qualities are. Do I seem confident? Do I seem attractive? Would you date me? And if not, specifically, why not? That kind of detailed social feedback would be so useful, but you're not likely to get it. Even from close female friends, they're not going to be comfortable telling you that kind of raw truth. And so we do what we always do when we can't get a need met in real life. We turn to the internet. And that's the business, essentially. That's it. If you want to know what women think of you and whether or not you're desirable to women, then this is the service for you. I'm calling it feminine feedback. And this is all an experiment. I don't really know if people are going to find this useful, if there's actually a demand for it. I think that there is, but I'm going to find out after this video launches. It's my latest attempt to try and help men in the dating market because ultimately what I want for my audience is for everybody to become the best version of themselves, to attract a high quality woman into a relationship and for the two of them to be happy. I'm hoping that this service could be an important tool for a lot of men while they're undergoing that journey. I might be wrong. Maybe everybody thinks that this is dumb and my judgment was completely off. But in case there is a demand for this and men think that this could help them, I decided to give it a shot. So what I did is I recruited women who watch this channel to be the ones to give the feedback. I thought that my female audience would be the ideal place to recruit women from this because at a very minimum, you're likely to share the same perspectives on gender dynamics. It wouldn't be useful for men to be getting feedback on their desirability from women who have radically different views and beliefs to them. You know, there's no point asking some rabid feminist whether or not she finds you attractive because you don't want to date a girl like that anyway. What's the point? I didn't want men to be getting feedback from low quality women. I wanted them to be getting feedback from high quality women, the kind of women that most men would universally say are objectively desirable as a partner choice. And I thought that this channel would be the best place to look for those women. So I've been spending time on the side, holding auditions, giving training, giving instructions, helping these women to give detailed and thorough, authentic social feedback. When I first put the call out, I actually had a huge number of women apply. But over the course of a number of weeks, we've been doing these auditions, these trials, and I've narrowed it down to a small group of women. Eventually, my plan is for there to be between six and seven different women that you can get feedback from, but I don't want to overload you with choice, so I've decided to start with just three. I felt like it was important that men had choice because 
Not every woman is going to be desirable to every man, and obviously you want feedback from the kind of woman who you could see yourself dating, because it's her opinion that matters. If a woman has completely different interests and beliefs to you, then why would you want feedback from her? It doesn't really matter what she thinks. She's not a, a viable romantic option for you anyway. So if you decide to use this service and get some feminine feedback, I really recommend choosing a woman who resonates with you, somebody who seems like you could date, or at the very least be in the same social circle as you. So now I'm gonna introduce you to our first three women. This is Sharon, she's 34 and she works as an esthetician. She's also creating her own business where she teaches young women how to tap into their natural beauty by understanding themselves physically. She loves to sing, she's won singing competitions, she likes to stay fit and healthy, she loves to cook food, entire meals from scratch, she likes men who are intelligent, ambitious and have a sense of personal style. She'd be a good choice to get feedback from if you're also really driven, really ambitious, or if you're specifically looking for feedback about your physical appearance. This is Amelia, she's 21 years old and she's living in Ireland. She started modeling at 16, she continued modeling through university and she loves clothes, she loves fashion, she loves creating outfits, loves taking photos. Amelia is very feminine, she also loves to sing and cook, she has a great relationship with her parents and family is really important to her. If you're a man who's attracted to really feminine women, Amelia is a great choice. Her feedback is always compassionate, but very honest. And lastly, meet Ava. She's 29, she's British, but she's currently living on the French-Italian border. She works for most of the year at the local university as a language teacher, but in the summer months, she also works as a tour guide, cycling through French vineyards. She loves Jordan Peterson. She's a big proponent of personal responsibility. She likes men who are ambitious and driven. Her thought is, if I can do it, why can't he? She's a great person to get feedback from if you're a self-improvement guy and you're also working on developing personal responsibility. In particular, she likes men who are older than her, men who are motivated and disciplined, someone a bit fatherly who can be the pillar of a household. If none of these women suit your particular personality, don't worry, I'm going to be adding more women to the lineup in the coming weeks. If you'd like to know more about these women, they've all created their own personal showcase videos, talking about themselves, talking about their lives. There are links in the description box below. So if you're curious to know whether or not you're desirable, whether or not you're attractive, you're ready to get some social feedback, then get started by clicking on the links below. Check out the showcase videos, choose the woman that you want to get feedback from, and then follow the instructions that are included in each of the description boxes. Each of the showcase videos comes with a clear, detailed set of instructions on how to proceed, but just as a very quick version, what you'll essentially be doing is recording a video of yourself answering questions that the women have provided and then sending that video on. The women will then record themselves watching that video and then they'll be giving you feedback on how you come across all of your best qualities, all of your least desirable qualities. I want to stress again that this service is not for the faint hearted. Consider this your fair warning. This is for people who can handle real, honest, brutal feedback. Don't expect to pay money just so that you can be told a bunch of sweet sounding lies and feel good about yourself. That's not the point of feminine feedback. The training that the women have gone through has been to encourage them to become comfortable giving men the raw truth. To explain in detail all of the reasons why they would or would not date you all of your shortcomings, all of the factors that make you a less than desirable partner. If your self-esteem can't handle this, then don't use the service. You have been warned. I put a bunch of work into this, and so I really hope that my judgment has been correct and that men are going to find this useful. But if you personally think that this service has no value for you, no worries, I completely understand. It's not for everybody. I'll be back in a couple of days with a regular video. Remember, if you'd like to use the service and order some feminine feedback, just follow the instructions in the description box below.